Good morning. We are Trish and Bonnie, and we are coming to you today from Bonnie's house. Hi. Yes. Now, you can normally find us at our blog, Uncommon Designs, um, but today we are here on Google+, Plus, and we are going to talk to you about some Mother's Day gifts that were actually used with some fun deco art project products. Um, now, I know most of the time you see a lot of crafts mm -hmm. online, the tutorials and all of the how-tos to do. But now, most of the people who are watching us, we're all crafters. And, you know, doing a DIY gift is always going to be so much more personal, a lot, you know, a lot less expensive than buying a gift card. And, you know, it just is so nice to have something, you know, to give your mom that you've done yourself and, and she'll love it, I'm sure. Absolutely. I don't think that they, that, you know, we really ever outgrow, outgrow that with our parents of trying to give them some things that are straight from our heart. And they so appreciate it. Um, so this morning we're going to talk to you about a few different projects. Um, Bonnie has made a wonderful cake dome that she has used some chalkboard paint with on glass. So she's going to tell you a little bit more about that now. Thanks, Trish. Um, the fabulous folks over at Deco Art sent us a selection of products to try, and one of them is their glass chalkboard paint. It's specifically designed to adhere to the glass so that you can um, create little chalkboards. And all you need to do this is some handy, handy painter's tape. This that sits around the house all the time. Now, I guess you're going to just take that off? Mm -hmm. Okay. I took the painter's tape, and as you can see from the cake dome, I'm going to lift it up just a little. I simply taped off a rectangular shape, but you could do whatever shape you want to. If you want to get really snazzy, you could do a fancy design on there. Before you take it off, you're going to need to clean the area thoroughly with some rubbing alcohol so that that paint adheres really good. The surface is very clean. When you rub it on with a cotton ball, it just takes a second for it to evaporate off. And then the most sorry about that. I had to peel on the floor. The most important part of the painting is don't use a paintbrush. Use these cosmetic sponges. I got a whole pack of these at. Um, my favorite place, Target. You can get them at Walmart, a drugstore, or wherever. And they're the um, triangular shaped ones. They're just really dense and easy to paint with. And I simply took the chalkboard paint and put it out on a plate and then dipped the sponge into it. And then just dabbed all the way over where I had it taped off. Not a heavy coat, but I did enough to cover it. Then let it completely dry thoroughly. And you're going to go back over with a second coat to give it the nice dark color. Let the whole thing dry thoroughly before you go back and pull off your painter's tape. Now let me ask you, I know that um, I have tried to paint things on glass before mm -hmm. and sometimes even using glass paint. When you use this chalkboard paint, does it beat up or does it give you a no, nice solid? No. I think it's a combination of it, the fact that this chalkboard paint is formulated specifically for glass and using the very dense sponge here, um, you didn't get air bubbles like you sometimes do when you use the bigger paintbrushes that go on there. And so it, it coated it really, really well. Now, the key to it is it has to dry for four days according to the directions, and then you're going to cure it in the oven. Mine has not quite dried four days yet, <laughs> so I'm not going to write on it yet. But once you have... for four days bring to the end of the chalk paint excuse me you're going to take just a simple piece of chalk just like you would use in school and you want to season your chalkboard and you're going to do that by just simply rubbing the chalk back and forth across the black chalkboard surface and then wipe it off again and that prevents it from permanently having marks on there like if I were to just go and write my name on there and then go to erase it since I didn't season it first with the chalk it's going to leave kind of a little shadow of that mm -hmm. even when you wipe it off. But that way you're ready to go. Love the plain chalk. I also love the chalkboard pens. I've used those a lot in a lot of projects. I just have a little bit more control. But we just thought this would be so fun because then you can put the name of what's inside your cake down or you can put something funny on there like um, we were laughing earlier saying don't touch my cookies. So if you have your cookies in there, you could put that on there. Or if it's, um, especially for a parent or even one of your kids, 
if it's their birthday, you can treat them when you wake up in the morning and you can have their name on there. But the most important part for me, and one of the reasons I wanted to do this, is in the South we eat outside a lot. Yeah. And our favorite thing here are flies and mosquitoes. And that's the last thing you want around your food. So it also provides a way to protect your food and have a label on there so people know what's inside there. Now, I took it one step further, Trish. Of course, I had to. <laughs> Not fun. Not me. <laughs> because they also sent us these fabulous little paint markers for glass that are like paint pens. Same premise as the paint pen. Shake them. You can follow directions on the back as to how to use them. And I know it's hard to see, but on the back of it, I wrote, Happy Mother's Day 2013. And then I put one of um, my mom's favorite verses on the back. So there's a little bit of personalization. And since you're using this pen, which is it's super easy to write with, it adheres great to the glass, doesn't beat up, your little ones could sign their names back there. And then it's personalized and you have it forever. Just be real careful since it is glass so that it doesn't break while they're doing it. But that way it's on there and you have something fun to personalize on the front and then you've made it really special on the back with something that means something to the person you're doing it. And just like the chalkboard paint, these markers also have a specific way to cure and just read it on the back and you can see how to do that. So we thought that would just be a fun thing that you could use forever with your moms, with your sister, because sometimes if we're close enough we kind of give each other Mother's Day gifts too. And um, it's something fun that your kids could help do and I even think a dad could do this for their wife with their kids. <laughs> Easy to do. Yeah. Now you, um, this is a cake plate that um, Bonnie actually made out of terracotta mm -hmm. planters, but um, this is just a dome that yes. you had used from just like an ordinary Walmart cake plate. This is the dome off of the top of just a standard cake plate set that you can Walmart, Target, a lot of different places have them. I already had mine. Most people have them at home. I didn't mind changing the way it looked. I just think it kind of personalizes it a little bit. So you may have this at home already, but you could certainly go and not spend a lot of money and buy a cake dome set and just simply personalize the top. And it would make a great gift that's not too terribly expensive. Yeah, and it seems like it doesn't use a lot no. of this deco or no. paint. So you can use this for several mm -hmm. projects. That'd Absolutely. Absolutely. So you could do it on glasses or mm -hmm. plates or mm -hmm. anything. And I'm sure that there'll be plenty of people talking right. about this paint this week on their Google Hangouts. Absolutely. Website. All week this week. Yeah. So that's our first project that we wanted to show you how to do. Yeah. And maybe we'll eat the cookies later. <laughs> There's not a maybe. <laughs> now, I wanted to talk to you guys about this uh, deco art patio paint. It comes in really beautiful colors, but these are some of our favorites for spring. We just have like a pretty turquoise or robin's egg blue. And a lime green and a white. And what we have done with these is we've actually painted three small terracotta pots and used them as utensil holders. Um, you could certainly do anything with it. Oh, you could absolutely. do a, you know, a spice garden or mm -hmm. just some little flowers or anything. But today we're going to talk to you about how we painted them. Um, you may see, if you look really close, that there are some actual raised dots on here. And how you get that nice textural effect is you take a very fancy instrument, <laughs> a pencil eraser, and you're going to dip it into the paint and actually just just dot it right on there, pretty easy stuff, and let it dry. And then you'll just take a just a foam paintbrush and paint on your color. And it leaves such a nice little detail. I mean, it's just, you know, this is not your arts and crafts project from the second grade. It really is nice. And um, now how many coats would you have? The, um, after I did the polka dots, I coated the entire um, pot twice with the green paint just to get a nice good coating on it and I love this deco art patio paint. It is thick and it almost dries to like a glaze look to it and it just gives it a very rich color. It really does. I mean if you could see this in person it, it looks mm -hmm. actually very expensive. 
it's just so saturated and mm -hmm. so pretty. Um, we also took, you know, a little bit more of that pencil and did a very pretty graphic flower. And if you look close, it's really not hard to do. It's just a series of dots here in the middle in the white. And then using the blue to go around, just, you know, dots all over the place. You could just use the end of a paintbrush for that. And then these are actually just triangles made to use, you mm -hmm. know, to do the petals. And I know that tomorrow night at 7 o'clock right. Eastern, Colleen Jorgensen is going to do a hangout where she's going to talk to you about how to paint. And I'm that at craftyhangouts.com. And she's a fabulous teacher. So if this is a project that you'd like to do but you're a little bit worried about the painting, don't be. You know, it's really just a series of, of dots and triangles, mm -hmm. and you can do it so much more than you think oh, you can. Um, really. I don't draw, I promise. My brother got all of that gift in our family. But <laughs> I can copy. And so if you just go online to like Pinterest or just search the web for kind of what you want to look like on your pot, it's a lot easier. It's almost like a guide. I told um, Colleen this morning that my painting skills were not beyond coloring book skills. <laughs> but this one was just really not difficult to do. And by choosing three colors to do it and three pots, each pot is a different color. Each flower on that pot is a different color, but yet they all tie in together. And it's just a fun little thing to have sitting out to serve your utensils, or you could go ahead and wrap everything together with a napkin around it. But just set these three out on a window ledge for a mother. Each child could give them one of them. It doesn't have to be a fancy flower like this for a Mother's Day gift. You could start by just doing the base coat for them and then let them go ahead and do it. I actually have a couple of pots that I love that my kids did for me when they were little and they mean so much to me. They're just not home decor looking, but they are part of our home and I just love that. I love the way they look. Uh -huh. So again, you know, we wanted to just share these, these patio paints with you and also the chalkboard glass paint from Deco Art. You know, I have to say that, you know, things have really come a long way as far as arts and crafts supplies. Mm -hmm. And these paints are very high quality. And we just enjoyed crafting with them and making some pretty stuff. And, you know, we're looking forward to Mother's Day. Absolutely. Maybe Bonnie will make me some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we would love for you to visit us at www.uncommondesignsonline. And you can also find us on Pinterest, mm -hmm. uh, we're under Uncommon Designs. You can find us on Twitter under Uncommon Designs, mm -hmm. our Facebook page, and we are also now on Instagram. So we'd love to have you come on over. And if you have any questions at all, just let us know. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.